I'm going to show you how to check your outlets, your power outlets, to see if they are wired correctly. If they're not wired correctly, especially on a CGI, you could end up killing yourself or shocking yourself and dying. So this was uh, put in by an electrician. And I already know that it's wrong, but I'm going to show you right now. They've got these little things that you can buy. You can plug them in. First off, you can see the outlets upside down. So let's go look here. What do we have here? We have red. It's going to be looking from the left. Red, yellow, and nothing on the right. You see that? Red, yellow, and nothing. So let's unplug it. Let's look and see what that is. Red. I turn this upside down, so it's red, yellow, and nothing. What does it say? It says hot and neutral are reversed. So you might not die from it, but you could if you end up getting shocked and it doesn't trip the CGI. So what you need to do is reverse the two wires. You can buy these things for maybe five, ten dollars. Plug them into all your outlets, check them out, make sure that they're wired right. We'll tell you if there's an open ground or reversed wires. So what I'm going to do, because I already know that this guy is on breaker number three, I'm going to shut off the breaker. This is definitely not worth trying to kill yourself to avoid killing yourself. So I'm going to pull off the outlet and then I'm going to reverse the wires and then we'll plug this thing back in and see what happens. Now you want to check it with a meter. It's really smart to check it with a meter. I'm going to plug this in just to see what happens. No lights came on. There's no power on this thing. But you do want to be really careful when you pull this thing out. Put a meter on there or a light probe. Don't use those things that when it gets really close it will tell you if there's power in the wire. You could kill yourself with some of those things because they might not be accurate. So you do want to use a meter, a voltmeter, to show if there's power on there or a little light tester. But I'm going to unscrew the two screws now at the top, pull this thing out, and reverse the wires, and then we'll see if it fixes it. Remember, always use one hand only. Keep your other hand away from metal or ground. Do not have your hand touching a metal pipe. Use one hand only, that way if there's a circuit that's opened or a wire touches you, it shouldn't ground through your body and you probably will not die. Not a guarantee, but your odds are much better if you do that. So that's why you see I've got one hand here. The other hand is holding the camera. I am not touching anything metal, anything that's grounded. Always use one hand only. And you can see that when they installed it, they put the little ground tab is up at the top. Normally it's on the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you install it, as long as you install the wires the right way. But what they did is they had they positioned this in the right direction, the wires would have been okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire off. I'm going to leave the ground wire alone. It's on the top. I'm going to reverse the two. I'm just going to take the two wires off, turn the outlet upside down, put the wires back on, and everything should be okay. We'll find out in a minute. One of the wires is done. If you look on this, you can see the wire can go on the screw, and the wire can also go, see these little holes in there? See the hole where the wire is going in? There's two holes. So some of these, you have a little tab that you have to put a screwdriver in, a flat blade, and then it will release the tab, or well, you push the wire in. The wire will go in and it will lock. To remove it, you have to put a flat blade screwdriver in there, press inward, and the wire will come out. With this unit, this is set up so the minute you unscrew the screw, the wire pops out of the back. So one wire is in, the other wire I'm going to put into that hole. It doesn't matter which hole you put it in. Well, yeah, in real life it matters which hole you put it in, but in this case, it doesn't matter which hole you put this wire in as long as it's on the right side. Then I'm going to turn on the power after I plug in the thing, and we'll see if it's done, if it's working right before I screw the outlet back into the wall. Both wires have been swapped. I really didn't swap them. I just swapped the position of the outlet. And we look down over here now. We have no light on the left. We have two lights on the right. And if you look down on the bottom, no light and two lights, two yellow lights and no light on the left is correct. So this outlet is now wired properly. Again, make sure you turn off. I know a lot of people are really uh, bold and risky. Make sure you turn off the power. You could easily slip one hand 
on the wrong side on the screw while you're tightening this screw and kill yourself. Even if you're holding it from the top and bottom, you could slip and kill yourself. So if you die, I'm not responsible. Don't do this unless you know what you're doing. Otherwise, hire an electrician or somebody who is qualified to do this. But it was a very simple thing that could save your life. Buying a unit like this for a few bucks, testing out all your outlets, making sure that they're grounded. If they're not grounded, you need to get that grounded. You need to hire somebody to make sure that they're grounded properly so that you don't die. And that's the whole point of this CGI is to make sure that it uh, triggers if there is a current leak and it wouldn't work if the power is connected the wrong way. So hopefully this helped you. Make sure you watch all my other awesome videos. Do a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Go to my main channel page if you want to. Click on the support button and help me out if you want. Thank you.